Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Physics 121 concept on calculating an average velocity. My name is uh, Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Physics 121 concept review on calculating an average velocity. My name is Nathan Martin, and I work for the tutoring centers at ASU. So this problem, it's asking us after two seconds, a particle is at 10 meters from a reference point. After seven seconds, the particle is at 40 meters. What is the average velocity from two to seven seconds? So let's just kind of draw this out real quick. So at the first position, right, it's at a time of two seconds and a displacement of 10 meters. So the x, this is essentially my time, right? So this is my time, two seconds. And then my displacement x is 10 meters. So at the second position, we are now seven seconds and 40 meters away. So again, it's the t value, this is the x value. Now, if we want to find an average velocity, how do we calculate that? So the average velocity, I'm going to denote that with v sub avg. So v velocity sub average, the average velocity is just equal to the change in x over the change in time. So this is the change in displacement over the change in time, right? Now what's the change in displacement? Well, that's just my final position minus my initial position, right? And then for time, exact same, right? It's my final time minus my initial time. So in our case, the average velocity What's the final displacement? 40. Subtract the initial displacement, 10, over the final time, 7 seconds, over the initial time, 2 seconds. So 40 minus 10, that's 30. 7 minus 2, that's 5. So the average velocity, the average velocity is equal to 6 meters per second. And now, before we kind of move on, let's first kind of interpret the units real quick, right? How do we know it's meters per second? Well, if I look at the expression for velocity, right? Velocity is, it's a rate of change of displacement with respect to time, right? So what are the units of delta x? So delta uh, x has units of meters, right? What are the units of delta t? Well, that's just a change in time, right? So that has units of seconds. So therefore, the units should be meters per second, which makes sense, right? Because a velocity, it's a rate of change of distance with respect to time, so those units make sense to us. Also, so let's clear that up and talk about some of our tutoring services. So if you want more information on our tutoring services, such as uh, hours of operation or, um, uh, you know, where we're at and whatnot, go to this link at tutoring.asu.edu. And then if you want more information or you want to see more videos just like this one, visit that second link, tutoring.asu.edu slash student services slash reviews. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.